Okay, today we're going to make a program that prints out the numbers in the Fibonacci sequence. And if you're not familiar with the Fibonacci sequence, it basically involves numbers that look like this, where each number is the sum of the two previous numbers in the sequence. So where the first two numbers are defined as 0 and 1. So 1 is the sum of 1 and 0, 2 is the sum of 1 and 1, and so on. You can see I've already sort of set up our project and added our class and even imported our scanner. These are all things that are pretty standard and hopefully you have a good sense of how to do them now. So I'm not going to waste time walking through them again. So for what we want to get from the user is the number of digits to print. So we're just going to do this. Okay, so now we have that. We're going to initialize our first two numbers, 0 and 1. And we're going to create these two variables for current. This defines the latest or the, or the current number. And the last defines the previous one, the one that comes before the current. So let's print those out. Okay, and now <clears throat> we need to print out the rest of the numbers. We're going to declare another count, another variable. We're going to call last last, oops, which actually holds the value that comes even before last. And this is useful when we're sort of updating all the values and printing them out, as you'll see in a second. Right? We start it at 2 because we've already printed out the first, you know, what this would be C when C equals 0 and C equals 1. So we're now we're starting at 2. So we're going to say last, last. So when we, when we do an update, we say last, last equals last. The, the verbiage is a little confusing, I know. Last equals current. And current, and this is why we need the last, last, equals last, last plus last. So now that, that should be updated, and now we'll print out the current value. OK. So let's try this out. Let's print out the first 10. OK, so we have 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34. If you look here, each number is the sum of the two previous numbers. So it looks like we have something that's working. Uh, let's, just, let's just try a little bit. Let's try print out the first 25. You can see we sort of get up into larger numbers reasonably quickly, but the same thing is, is, is happening. So for example, 233 plus 337 is 610. Okay, well, so that's it for today, and good luck in your future projects.